Okay, on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to share files from one person to another when you're working in Inventor. If one person creates a um, an assembly, how to get that assembly to some other student. So first we're going to sign into our Google Docs. So I'm going to go double click on Google Chrome and I'm going to go to my Google Docs. I'm going to hit these. I'm already signed in, so you're, you may need to sign in if you're not signed in already. So here are my Google Docs. You should already have a file folder that is shared with the rest of your group members, but if not, this is how you do it. New, click New, New Folder, and you're going to name it something that all of you will know what that means. So CT7, uh, CT7 Playground, whatever makes sense. You're going to create it. It shows up here at the top. If I right click on this, I can then share it with all of the different group members that I have. And make sure that they have can organize, add, and edit selected on that. Okay. So now we need to get files into this folder. So here's how you get files into the folder. So if I go down here on my desktop, there's a folder down here. This is where all of my folder these are all my folders and files are kept. It's called File Explorer. So here in this, everything that I've ever done in Inventor or anywhere else on this computer is going to be in this spot. All right, so I'm going to go into Documents. In Undocuments, I have created a merry-go-round. So I've got an assembly file called merry-go-round, another assembly file called merry-go-round foundation. I also have merry-go-round bar, merry-go-round base, merry-go-round center, merry-go-round round disk, and merry-go-round middle column. Those are all my files from where I created a merry-go-round. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, over here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new folder. And you probably guess what I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it merry-go-round. Okay. Now that I have a folder called merry-go-round, I'm going to, I could just grab one of these and just drop it right into that folder. I can also grab more than one at a time. If I click one and then click shift and then click the rest of them, I can grab multiple ones at a time and drag all of them down at one time. So all of my merry-go-round files, my parts, and my assemblies are all going into one folder. So now if I double click on merry-go-round, it has five parts and two assemblies. So my assemblies consist of these parts. You've got to make sure if you send an assembly, you also send that part. Okay, and so here's how easy this is. If I grab the top here, if I grab this, and just drag it over to the right, and then I click on this over here, all right, I can just grab this entire merry-go-round folder straight over and drop it right into CT7 Playground. Okay, and it says one file upload complete. So I can double click on that. Let me go full screen and then double click on this was the folder that I just created. Double click on that and there are all my part files. Now so it just went from one computer and it was uploaded to Google Docs. Now we need to take all of these files here so I can just drag and select all of these. And if I right click, I can download all of them uh, onto my computer. Or if I go back here to Playground, CT7 Playground, I can right click on the folder that I created and click download and it downloads the entire folder so it's preparing download it's zipping the file and I'm going to show you what that means here in a second so seven files zipped and then it shows down up down here on the left so if I double click or just click on that it shows up here merry-go-round alright and so I can double click on that and there are all my files and now I just need to extract them so really it's it's zipped. It's kind of like you are extracting those files now that they've been zipped. So you're going to click extract and then they're going to show up in your download folder. Okay, so I say okay. And then if I go back down here to my folders right here and I go to downloads, I should 
be able to find that folder. So let's look. Well, let's go back up here. So merry-go-round, merry-go-round foundation. So all of these, the ones that I just downloaded, are now in my download folder. Okay. So that is how, and then all I have to do is click on, uh, see the merry-go-round, double click on the merry-go-round, and it should just open right up into Autodesk Inventor. So that is how you share files from one person to the other um, in this group project. If you have problems opening up a particular file and it says that it doesn't find a part, it might mean that a group member did not share all the parts of the file. So there's my merry-go-round and all the parts. If I would have uploaded this or downloaded this without, let's say, this bar right here, it would not have let me open this. That's why you have to share all the assemblies and part files at one time.